Hey guys, this is Double Wide Six, and uh, a handful of you guys were asking me to take you around the new truck that you got. Well, this thing's a 2005 Dodge Ram 1500. I bought it used. It was a uh, private sale from Craigslist, and uh, I'll just take you around and show you it. As you can see, it's silver. It actually has the uh, premium wheels, so uh, they're chrome and they're 20 inch, so pretty big tires. The previous seller told me that the wheels are about $200 a piece when you go to replace them. It has the uh, step bar to get in, so that's nice. And up front, it has uh, the lights up front. Um, as far as fog lights it doesn't have any hooks up front which would have been nice like the uh, Ford trucks come with standard I believe it has four-wheel drive it has tinted windows in the back and heated towing mirrors on both sides and there's one little rust spot down here which isn't too noticeable one of the most common areas to rust on these trucks is right above the wheel wells so uh, I took a good look for rust here in fact the owner had one side repaired he showed me the bill It was eight hundred dollars um, on the left side of the vehicle this is the right side and if we look underneath here I don't know how well my cameras gonna work in this light but uh, all the the metal on the bottom of the truck it's it's really not there's not any rust at all and it's been uh rust coated so all that looks real good the truck has uh the towing package on the back with two different hookups and um i don't know if these things are factory or not but i noticed that there's some little paint chips so i ordered some touch-up paint uh so i'm going to touch those up inside the uh, bed of the truck as you can see there's a bed liner it has hooks down on the bottom at all four corners but uh, no hooks up top here so I'm gonna add actually the plastic bed caps up here and also the hooks and it also has a sliding back window which is really nice if you're moving something long like trim uh, you can fit it in there and the bed on this truck is six foot four inches so here's a look at the the back seats as you can see it's a little bit bigger than the super cab ford and you'll notice that the doors open out and you don't have to open both doors to open one door like you do with the fords um, there's a little more room in the back but still the back seats are small but you can fit an adult in them but your back will be pretty much straight up and down in the back and you can't lean them back but it, it's a pretty nice size compartment back there Another thing I like about this truck is that it has power windows in the back where with my F-150 I had to uh, manually open the windows for the kids. Um, it doesn't have a power rear sliding window. And um, there's also an auxiliary jack to plug in electronics and cup holders and stuff like that for kids. Another thing that commonly rusts on trucks is the the bottom of the door. Like in there where you see that metal behind that gasket, a lot of times you get rust. Where this truck was really clean, no signs of rust like some of the other ones that uh, I looked at. So here's a look at the inside. You can see it, it's very nice, you know, power everything. Up top here are some lights and it tells you like your gas mileage and outdoor temperature up there in that computer um, has a cup holder that folds up this thing is kind of chintzy uh, I like the Ford one a little better this thing pops up it's like an armrest so that looks good and um, you know it has cruise control and you know all the 
features has manual four-wheel drive so you just shift that on the fly and that'll put it in four-wheel drive which is nice and um, one of the things that I particularly liked was the uh, power driver seat that way you can raise the seat up I'm only about five foot eight so you know I lift the seat up pretty high it makes it easier for me to see over the hood with the manual seats you can't do that they just move forward and back so power seat was something that I was looking for in a truck um, I'm not really a, a brand specific person. Uh, I drove the Dodge and it really drove very nice. Um, my Ford F-150 drove very nice as well, but it, you know, it drives like a car and you know that was one of the reasons I really liked how it drove when I test drove it. And I see a lot of these things on the road. Uh, one other thing is the 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 seller put in a new uh, Kenwood CD player and iPod hookup I guess the old radio the factory one um, it didn't play CDs so he switched that up for me um, as part of the deal which was nice here's a look at the driver's side door one of the nice features about this truck is that when I turn the truck off and I lift up this nice handle that will automatically pop all the locks in the entire vehicle so the kids can get out um, without me having to hit the unlock button for them. Um, here's a look at the dashboard. And the pedals, steering wheel, and the uh, console there. So here's a look at the center console. Some storage inside there. There's also a charger in there, and then if you pop this thing up, down underneath there is a fair amount of storage. That goes down about six inches or so, so you can store something under there, which is a pretty nice feature because I couldn't do that with my uh, F-150, at least underneath like that. Um, I'll also show you the storage in the back. So in the back, you can reach under actually you don't even have to reach under to unclip anything but you can pop up the seats and if you look under there you have storage underneath the seats and bo both the seats pop up like that so if you had something big you could lay it across in there so I found that to be pretty nice that's a lot like the Ford so here's a look under the hood you can see there's a uh, an extra cooler tied in here that's due to the towing package in front of the radiator there and um, this thing has the Hemi engine which is supposed to be very reliable 5.7 V8 and um, you know it looks like it's in good condition everything you know has been maintained and taken care of and it runs really nice really smooth accelerates nice transmissions smooth as well so you know I don't know too much about the engines to be specific but I like it um, I think this thing's rated somewhere from about 12 to maybe 16 mile miles per gallon city and highway um, I haven't really driven it too much so I'm not real sure what it gets but there is a computer inside that'll tell you and usually uh, it says it's about at 11 and that's just driving around the, the city here um, what little driving that I've done so some of my uh, future videos um, I'm going to be showing you, I guess, how to detail the inside. This truck uh, smells a little bit like smoke. Um, the previous owner sent it out to have it professionally cleaned, and um, it still has a smoke smell to it, so I'm going to kind of go through it myself because uh, we don't smoke, and I could smell it a little bit. And uh, it passed my wife's test. She said it doesn't even smell and not to worry about it, but. I'm going to worry about it. I'm also going to put some rails up here. I'm going to install hooks, so I'll be making some videos on that stuff. Um, and, you know, maybe a couple other little odds and ends videos. So if you keep tuned, you'll see them in the near future. So this is an overview of the truck. I'm, I've been real pleased with it. Um, it drives very smooth and 
very nice uh, it feels a little bigger than my Ford and maybe that's just because I'm not used to driving it yet um, but I don't know it's only uh, it's within two inches of the size of my Ford F-150 Super Cab so uh, I can't remember I think the Dodge is two inches longer but that's it I mean I wouldn't want to go any longer than this plus this thing will fit in my garage which is nice uh, you know during the winter and that so anyhow uh, for those of you that are watching I appreciate it and if you have any comments please comment and uh, those of you that are new to my channel you can check out my double wide six page there's a whole bunch of uh, interesting repair videos and that sort of stuff so thanks for watching have a great day